Good day from the 65th Annual Cannes Film Festival. I'm Ian Roberts, and I'm presenting to you a program created by Paramax and Mund West, a program entitled Con Echo 2012, in partnership with Screen International. In our program, we have a unique opportunity to take a look into the world of film finance. Through a series of interviews and roundtables, we gain valuable insight from the leaders of the film finance industry and how they are bridging the gap between unique storytelling and the financial resources to make them become a big screen cinematic experience. In this edition of our Con Echo Series 2012, we had the opportunity of sitting down with Paul Brett of Prescience Films for an overview of independent film finance today. Here's what he had to say. Good morning and welcome to Cannes on this blustery day and to a Screen International conversation about the state of independent film financing in the world today. You're pretty close to the whole face as it were because you're a distributor in Germany. Correct. How is business at the moment and how is that impacting your behavior in Cannes? Well, in, in, in line with what Matt said, the, <clears throat> the appetite for big movies in Germany has, has increased, the availability of big movies has increased, and as studios are continuing to create split rights deals, uh, and just taking domestic, the international marketplace, particularly in Germany, is, I find, very buoyant and healthy, uh, and Germany being one of the big financiers, 10, 12% of a budget, all of a sudden, big movies are becoming available to us that, say, five years ago, um, were not. And ironically, this is fueled while German films are accounting for 22 market share. Absolutely. The, the, the 22 market share is a result of uh, movies with Til Schweiger, Coco Vin, and Matthias Schweighöfer. Of the 523-odd movies that were released last year in Germany, 2011, 200 of them were German and that equates to 22%. And still, of course, 60% are 144 American movies. The independent movies are now on the upswing in Germany. Um, you know, called it King's Speech and movies of that nature. Uh, there's a huge appetite for these, and therefore, financing is pouring into that as well on an international uh, basis. So the market's healthy? Absolutely. No, but the, the, the fact that you said that the small screen is the driver of the independent business is unbelievably true. The, the free television market in Germany, for instance, is what creates a large chunk of the value for the independent market, i.e. if it is applicable to German television and, and, and palatable, it gets made. If not, it's really difficult. And Al, from your base in Germany, you work extensively with Hollywood. Do you have an office in LA, or do you just make frequent visits, or is it a 12-month-a-year job? We don't need an office. Exactly, it's a 12-month-a-year job. It's a seven-day uh, week and on the phone continuously. No, but we we um, we travel to Los Angeles very, very frequently, and our business, as Matt knows, is to get in on the ground floor. I.e., we're in business with uh, with the agencies. We're in business with the producers. We invest money in the development of projects to shape it, if you will, so that it becomes um, marketable to a European market. And interestingly, if Square One gets involved, chances are our colleagues in France, S and D, are involved. Our colleagues in the UK, Momentum, are involved, and therefore it becomes universally marketable. Conversely, if it doesn't fly in Germany that should ring a bell to the producer. And very frequently, producers such as Matt are extremely interested in at least having the first uh, discussion as a sounding board. Is it something that will fly? And the market is now you know, 12 months a year. It's not can anymore. And then, oops, it did or did not sell. Everybody's much more informed and knows how to put the financing together to then achieve marketability. Do you have a concluding comment? about the business today? It's buoyant, it's beautiful, and the projects are uh, fantastic. The, the fact of the matter is that we're chasing here at this particular market something to the tune of five or six projects, and it feels like, what is it today, day four? It feels day, like five. It's day five. It feels like it's day 15, because uh, the, the, effectively the market is like all year round, and, and what is beautiful is that the dialogue is ongoing and not just several times a year. And that, is, uh, that makes business so much easier. Thank you for watching our Con Echo 2012 series. 